So have you guys ever had one of these uh, uh, valves where the diaphragm comes off? Stick around and I'll show you guys how to fix this. So don't you hate it when this happens, when you inflate your boat and it just starts to deflate with these semi-recessed valves? Well, I'm going to show you guys how to fix this. Using the Zodiac tool or a pair of pliers, spin out the valve core. And you'll see when you pull it out, the diaphragm is missing. Now if the basket at the end is completely broken off, just throw it in the garbage and buy a new one. Let's just cut some PVC now to make our new diaphragm. Trace out your new diaphragm using the old rubber diaphragm on your piece of PVC that you just cut up. Cut out your new diaphragm using the lines you just traced on your PVC material. Use the old diaphragm to mark your center mark to put your hole for the new diaphragm. Using something sharp, poke a hole through the new patch material on your diaphragm. Now using either an aluminum screw or a stainless steel screw, start threading it into the new diaphragm just till you get the threads out and then start screwing it into the new valve core. Trim any excess off that you might feel that is just a little too big on the sides. Using marine grease, grease up the threads of the new valve, stick it in, and start threading it into place. Take caution that you're not cross threading the valve on the valve body. After getting the valve nice and tight, make sure you spin the valve core around to make sure the diaphragm is not sticking or binding, and then fill up the chamber to make sure it's not leaking. Check to make sure that nothing else is leaking and you're good to go. Well, I'm hoping this saves you boys and girls a few bucks in your pocket. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe. Uh, the more subscribers I get, uh, the 
the more future content I can put out quicker. But once again, thank you for watching and see you on the next video.